This is a Stocka Trails, and today we are going to show you how to do a general overhauling of the stroller. Uh, we've gotten this in for a general overhauling, which means that we're going to uh, remove and wash the textile elements, and we're going to go over the chassis and uh, lubricate it and pump the wheels and just give a general checkup. Okay, uh, removing the textiles, first thing we're going to remove is the sun flap in the front. And there is a zipper, so you can just zip it off. If this isn't horribly dirty, you might not want to wash it in the machine. You can uh, if you do it on a low temperature, um, at least under 40. But uh, if it's not horribly dirty, then you might just want to give it a wipe. Uh, to remove the rest of the canopy, you want to start by unzipping it. This lower zipper here. And then you can unbutton it on the sides and detach the uh, inner rib. If you just pull up the textile, you can push the button in on the front here and pull it up. And do it on both sides and then you can just pull this rib out. And now the canopy is ready for wash. And then we can remove the back side of the textiles. There are a series of buttons that run underneath. All buttoned in this case, but uh, and then here is Velcro. Just pull this. Out. Uh, this piece generally does not need to be washed, but uh, if you do need to, you can remove the entire bar by taking a flathead screwdriver or a butter knife, something thin, poking it in this hole, and then pulling up on the bar. as well and then this fabric piece comes off with a zipper you just detach the velcro here and then unzip it a little bit fiddly because of the uh, nature of the plastic strutting underneath. And then it's hooked on at the end here with just a, a little eye hole on both sides. Now we can remove the uh, main seat element. So you want to turn it on its side and um, here should be a couple of orange flaps. One of them's already disconnected. But if you pull this up, it pulls an elastic band off of a little peg. That's the first thing you want to do. Then you can start working the seat up. It has these plastic uh, in-sewn um, uh, ribs into the fabric and they run right into this uh, little trough on either side of the seat. As you pull it up, you can start removing the belts. So there was the middle belt. Yeah, I'm getting the side belts now. take all of these textile elements and put them on the machine in the machine at uh, 40 degrees uh, just with a regular amount of soap. Okay regarding the seat element then we're going to now wash it down. Uh, a lot of uh, mud and small detritus lodges itself into the plastic uh, pits in the seat. So we're going to give it a good spray down with some water uh, mixed with uh, some cleaning, generic cleaning chemicals. If 
uh, your belts need to be washed as well. It is possible to remove them, and uh, we have another video that shows how to do that. Uh, generally, it's not necessary to wash the belts, but uh, if, for example, you have some mildew growing on them, then it's a good idea to take them off and uh, treat them with some mildew removal solutions. And we also have videos showing you what to use to remove mildew uh, on our channel. Um, then we're going to lubricate some um, various elements on the seat. Uh, you can take off the entire footboard by lifting that handle. And uh, with most of the stroller, uh, it's a good idea to use a silicon spray as there's a lot of uh, plastic elements and plastic and metal elements. Uh, you can just spray in here where those pins come up, as well as on the bottom here. And then it's a good idea to flip the seat over and give it a bit of a spray inside these mechanisms that lock the seat onto the chassis itself. And whenever you use uh, lubricants, you should work the mechanism a little bit to uh, allow those moving parts to kind of move the, the lubricant around inside the mechanism. Okay, with relation to the chassis then, we're gonna do this in two parts. We're gonna remove the wheels and work on them, and we're gonna do the chassis separately. Uh, we're not going to wash the shopping basket on this because it's in relatively good condition. It's made of a very synthetic material, so unless you see that mildew has gotten into the uh, fabric or you have any major stains that you need to remove, uh, it's enough to wash and wipe it on the stroller. If you do need to know how to remove the shopping basket, we have other videos that will show you how to do this. Uh, so in any case, moving forward, we're going to take off the wheels so that we can deal with them separately. Moving the back wheels, that's the big button in the center of the back wheel. And on the front, it is a button here on the back of the front frame. Press in, and you can pull off the wheels. Okay, with relation to the wheels, uh, we're going to first start by checking the tire pressure. They need to be a bit tight, they should feel tight, but with just the slightest amount of give. Uh, if you do need to pump them, then you just use a pump, a regular bicycle type pump, and uh, you can give it a quick pump. If you notice that the tires are uneven on one side, you want to look at this ring on the inside of the tire in relation to the rim the plastic rim of the wheel itself. Uh, that should be evenly spaced. So if that's not, what you want to do is remove air from the tire, reposition the tire, and then repump the wheel. All right, I'm going to go over all the wheels and check how pumped they are. This one definitely needs a bit of pumping. Check that the ring is positioned correctly. Okay, uh, one uh, last note on the back wheels that we're going to check right now is that this cross element is tight onto the rim. Sometimes when people over pump their wheels, this uh, hubcap, I suppose, pop, begins to pop off. And we do have another video that will show you how to put that back in place. It's essentially a matter of removing the air and uh, popping it back yeah, in the various points. And um, if it's not popping back easily, checking the tags uh, to see if you can bend them a bit more into place or uh, eventually replacing the hubcaps. Check the air on the front wheels, which seems good. Okay, 
The next stage with the wheels is going to be lubricating the ball bearings. So in that case, I recommend uh, something like WD-40. This is CRC-556, it's like a generic WD-40. And uh, you just want to use gravity in order to help the grease to get into the ball bearings. So I'm gonna hold the wheel like this and spray it inside. Wait a little bit and flip it over and do it from the back side. Uh, in relation to the back wheels then, you wanna hold it with the face down. And you can get at least at this ball bearing here. Uh, with the back wheels, you can also spray a bit into here. This is the locking mechanism for the axle. And then you can work the axle by pushing that uh, front button a bit so that the grease works its way down in. Uh, there is a second ball bearing here on this side, but unless you're noticing uh, ball bearing issues, there's no need to remove the front plate uh, in order to get at it. Uh, one last note on the front wheels. You do want to check, take the front wheel and try to wiggle it and see if there's any wiggle room along the axle here. Uh, if there is, you're going to want to tighten this screw here. Okay, then we're going to clean the wheels and I'm going to start by removing some of the old grease which has gotten a bit black uh, over time and we will reapply grease at the end. And then I'm just going to take that same uh, water and cleaning solution and wipe down the wheels. Okay, uh, now we're going to move on to the rest of the chassis, and the first thing we're going to do is the lubrication. So if you flip it on its side, we can start by lubricating up the back end. Uh, in this case, you can use a silicone spray, uh, as a lot of it is the interaction between plastic parts with each other, plastic and metal. You want to spray right here into where the brake pin goes. Uh, that you can start with, and you can do a bit here as well, where the wheel slots in. Then moving down, we want to hit all of these areas where the suspension uh, element is attached to the chassis. And the reason for that is it uh, helps to prevent creaking. And we can do here as well, where this wheel connector is. Then we're going to flip it to the other side and do the same thing. Hitting the brake pin where the wheel locks in these areas here and then around the other uh, wheel connection and then on this side where the pedal is it's also quite important to get where the brake pin goes in on this end as uh, the grease won't slide down to there just by spraying in the other side okay now you want to take the stroller and turn it entirely on its back And the reason for this is to hit the uh, main suspension area and uh, be generous. So this is uh, really the only place on this stroller that also has a tendency to rust. Uh, that's not that dangerous. Um, but if you do want to remove it, we have a few videos that deal with rust removal using a product called uh, Rust Eater, uh, or you can use a small ball of aluminum foil that also works. Um, otherwise, after you spray, you can just take um, 
some sort of small cloth or, or something and clean it a little bit. But that won't really remove all of the rust. We'll get a little bit of the dirt though. Uh, while I have the stroller on this side, I'm going to go ahead and also apply some new lubricant into the front wheels. Clean it out a little bit first. And um, with the this front wheel area, there's only two lubricants you should be using. Either food industry grease, which is ideal, or a silicone putty. You don't want to use anything else. Just squeeze a little bit in there. It's okay if it pops out just a little over the edge. And then when you uh, pop the wheels back in place, it'll naturally spread itself around. Okay, I'm gonna turn the stroller back upright. Spray a little bit of your silicon here into the telescopic mechanism. And then you can use the telescopic mechanism a little bit. Um, and then here, around this button. And you can get a little bit through this crack into the main body of the uh, locking or folding mechanism. Other than that, there are other moving parts on the stroller. Uh, I tend not to just lubricate them unless I'm having trouble with them. So if you're noticing that the triggers uh, up at top have trouble, you can actually screw out the trigger and spray some lubricant down inside. Um, same goes for the handle adjustment mechanism uh, and any other moving areas on the stroller. Okay, then we're going to take our water and cleaning uh, solution again, and we're just going to give the chassis a good wipe down, remove any mud or a little bit of the grease that's left over from the lubricants. So you can do that all over the chassis, of course. And I'll do this side just to show you. And then when it comes to um, things that aren't removed, spots that aren't removed, most importantly, scuff marks you might get in the front end uh, and on um, the metal to some extent, although scratches are harder to remove. Um, then you want to do something else. You want to get a microfiber sponge and you can start just by getting it a little bit wet and trying to remove the scuff marks. If that doesn't work, uh, you can apply a little bit of nail polish remover to it. And uh, I don't have that here today, but we do show that in a lot of other videos. But if you do use this with nail polish remover, you really just want to get over the paint as it will uh, do a slight discoloration uh, to the, the spots that you're trying to remove. Um, however, on white plastics, the microfiber sponge with nail polish remover will not discolor it and will make it really shiny and white again. Um, again, we have other videos that show you how to do this and uh, what sort of effects will occur from that, as well as on the metal. It's also very nice for removing spots uh, on the metal. So those are the general steps that we take when we're overhauling a stock trails. Um, if you want to see any parts of this video in a bit more depth, we do have other videos that cover each stage of this process. Uh, just search on our channel and you'll find a wealth of materials that deal with this model. We hope this video has been useful to you. And if it has been, we ask that you subscribe as it helps us to continue making videos in the future. Thank you.